Good, you there, baby. Up. Good, stay. Yay. Okay, come on.
Come on, that's a boy. Down. Wait. Good. Come through. That's it. Come on down. Yeah, come on. Crawl. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Come on. Good, 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 good. Come good, on, good. good. Get down there. Yeah, come on. Crawl. That's it. That's it. Come on. You can do it. Yay. Come on, Dusty. Give it a try. Come on. Good, 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 good. Well, Dusty's conditioning program starts with very high quality food. Mostly raw. He gets all natural treats. Again, very high quality. And we have a variety of fitness equipment for doggies and humans. Dusty gets regular chiropractic care every month. I also do a lot of shiatsu on him and tea touch. And he does like his body work. Parkour has added another dimension to our relationship, which has always been very close. I think he really trusts me even more now um, because I've asked him to do so many 
new behaviors with novel objects. And I think this has greatly enhanced his confidence level. Even though we've done a number of additional dog sports and everything has built his confidence, I think parkour, um, maybe because it can be done in such a laid back way, um, it, it's, it's just added something different and wonderful to our lives and to our relationship. So parkour has led to some changes in Dusty. As I mentioned before, I think his confidence level has been definitely boosted by doing parkour. Uh, he came to me nine years ago with numerous fear issues. And since then, we've worked a lot on fear issues, which unfortunately included aggression towards humans. And although he still has some fears, he's able to get over them faster and faster and in more and more situations. Uh, I think parkour has certainly contributed to that, although all the dog sports we've done have been a big benefit to him. Uh, the difference, I think, with the parkour is that we do it in such a laid-back way. Um, even going for titles, you just need to work on one behavior at a time. And there's really no stress to it. And I, I think that makes a difference in our training and also in our videoing where I used to just see woods or nice landscape. Now I'm looking for things that we can get up on or jump over or walk across. Things I didn't notice before I'm now noticing and things that I gave little notice to now have taken on new meanings.